And it was a great day for the annual Ben to Shore bike tour. Thousands of cyclists made the trek from Old City to Atlantic City to support the families of fallen and injured first responders. CBS News Philadelphia's Howard Monroe shows us how this was an emotional day for some of the riders. He never did anything halfway. Uh, he actually believed he could do 110%. Mark DeMunk remembering his son, Sean DeMunk. DeMunk was working as a firefighter in Lower Marion Township in July of 2021 when he was killed in the line of duty. My son was a hero, and I just want to do something that might make him half as proud of me as I was of him. And with his son's face tattooed on his arm, on Sunday he got that chance. The DeMunk family was among the over 2,000 bike riders who took part in the Bend to the Shore bike tour. They rode the 65 miles from Philly to Atlantic City. The ride benefits the families of fallen and critically injured first responders. Our police, our firefighters, they're going out and sometimes they make the ultimate sacrifice. This is a way to help their family members who are left behind. In addition to the DeMunk family, the families of fallen Pennsylvania State Troopers Martin Mack and Brandon Siska were also honored. They were killed in March of 2022 by an alleged drunk driver on I-95. Trooper Mack's widow, Stephanie, took part in the ride. It's motivating in and of itself is just amazing. So I'm excited to be a part of it, to give back and... I'm riding with family and that's really where I'm at right now. The ride also raises funds to strengthen relations between police and the public. The goal was to raise $1.2 million. They're not showing up because they want to take a bike ride. They don't need this event to do it. They come out for its purpose. Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia. And in the ride's 36 years, organizers say they've been able to raise over $35 million.